Perfect. So welcome everyone. My name is Larissa Worley and I am the Senior Customer Support and Relationship Coordinator for Travel 42. Today we are going to go through the Travel 42 new redesigned website. I'm going to show you some best practices and how to use it. Um, it's probably going to be about 30, 45 minutes tops. Um, but if you have any questions during, feel free to type them in the question box. I will also have some uh, time at the very end of this webinar to go through some questions and answers. If I see a question come through, what I'm going to try to do is repeat the question just so others know what the question is um, and then answer it then if it is something that pertains to what we're talking about in that moment. Otherwise, I will try to get to it after the webinar is over. Now, this webinar is just going to be kind of a basic demonstration on how I would go through Travel 42 and what Travel 42 uh, can bring for you. Um, so if there's any questions that maybe would be best answered afterwards, I will let you know. So feel free to answer or ask any questions in the question and answer box, and we will for sure get to them at the end. Or if I have to reach out to you directly afterwards, I will do that as well. You'll have my contact information as well. Um, so here, this is where you would go to if you visit new.travel-42.com. This is the new website, which I do recommend all of our agents to use. The legacy site is still active for now. So if you do get stuck on the new site, you can go to the legacy. You would just simply type in www or scroll to the bottom. Oh, I thought it was at the bottom. It's probably on the logged in page. The legacy site is www.travel-42.com and the new site is new.travel-42.com. So that's how you would go about visiting both of those sites, but I do recommend utilizing the new site. I save it as a bookmark, so it's literally at the top of my page and I can just click on this in the browser and it'll take me right there. So if you want to do that for the new site so you don't have to remember which one is which, I'd recommend bookmarking. Now, if you've never tried Travel 42 before, that is absolutely wonderful. We do recommend you checking out our 14-day free trial by clicking register now. That'll take you to our free trial sign up. Um, 14 days, absolutely free unless you have another promo code. But if you come on and you don't have a promo code, you can use code T42-14FT to try out a 14-day free trial. Um, please definitely pass this along to any agents that may not know Travel 42 or any agents that you want to recommend. We are working to do some sort of referral program. <clears throat> we don't have anything in writing as of yet. It's still kind of a work in progress. But if there are any agents that you would like to refer, if you are a subscriber of Travel 42, let us know and we can work with you on maybe a promotion that would benefit you as well. Still a work in progress, but I'd be happy to work with anybody that has any referrals as of now. Um, but that's where you would go to get the 14-day free trial is register now. If you already have a Travel 42 subscription, you simply need to click sign in. The dropdown will populate and you type in your user ID and password. I have my browser to remember my user ID and password, but you can also have Travel 42 remember it by clicking remember me. If you ever forget your password or unsure what it is, that's of course what this forgot password is. We'll send you an email and you'll be able to change the password when you receive that email. But I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in and that'll take me to my Travel 42 dashboard, which is the home page or the very first page that you're gonna get to once you get logged in. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Travel 42, it actually came from two products. One, Weissman, the Weissman Destination Guides. Those were in those big red binders that you had to update manually. And then our Star Service Hotel Reviews. Both the Destination Guides from Weissman and those Star Hotel Reviews formed to create Travel 42. I believe that was back in 2011. We do still have the same star service reviews. We have, I think, about 10,000 detailed star reviews within Travel 42. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, over 6,000 destination guides within Travel 42. So there is a lot of information that can be shared with your clients. And there are a couple of different ways that you can share that information with your clients. And I'll go through that today. 
Um, so this is the dashboard, as I mentioned earlier. You'll notice some buttons up here at the top, some information down below. I'm going to quickly go over this with you now, but we will go through it a little bit more in depth at the end. So I'll actually click on some things. So dashboard, that's where you start. News and alerts, that's where you would see IntelliGuide travel alerts, some of our sister products, blogs, and some recently updated destinations and hotel reviews. Restrictions and e-visa are both powered by Sherpa. Restrictions basically will show you any restrictions that are in place if you travel from one destination to another and then back home. E-visa, simply that, it allows you to purchase e-visas within Travel 42. The help tab, this was what I was mentioning earlier. This is where any frequently asked questions, if, if you get stuck on the new site, this is where I would start. We have articles, we have training videos, we have quick quick videos that don't have any words that just show you how to go through certain steps. So if you're a visual learner, if you're better reading, you have all of the options under the help tab. Profile is where you go to update your profile, your business card, which includes your headshot, your logo, your contact information, website, and anything else you want to share with your clients. Manage account, that's where you would go to if, say, you're the administrator of a group account, that's where you would go to see your um, users that are under your account. You can see their user ID. If you're just a single user, that means you're your own account administrator, so you'll be able to see your user ID and password and update credit card information as needed. And of course, sign out is where you would go to sign out. Um, if you're going to be logging in on another computer or say you're leaving your office for the day and you know you're going to use Travel42 at home, go ahead and click sign out um, because you can only be logged in and into one Travel 42 session at a time. Um, so click sign out anytime you leave. That way you won't have any issues with trying to get logged in again. Now you'll notice this banner up here at the top. We have some interesting information within that banner. So this is that Sherpa information that I was telling you about where you can purchase the e-visas. Then we have some of our, um, our partners within North Star Travel Group. Mobio is one of our brand new partners. It actually allows your travelers or yourself to access the internet while you are traveling overseas or out of the country. Um, you can purchase different packages and you can also see nearby see and do that comes from Travel 42. Um, and with Mobio, you actually get money back for any of the travelers that purchase a data plan on their travels. And on the website itself, if you do go to Mobio, um, they provide you with all the marketing materials that you'll need to share with your clients. So definitely check that out. Access Travel App is another partner of ours. Um, they do work very closely with us. They are the itinerary provider. So you're able to import um, bookings that your client has made within the Access Itinerary app. And you'll also notice some hotel spotlights and destination spotlights as well. So this banner will just, it will change. Um, it, it will change. Um, so you'll notice some new things that'll pop up within that banner. But if anything interests you, you simply just click on it and it'll pull up that piece of information that you're wanting to look for or look into a little bit more. You'll notice next, there is this search bar right here. So if you get to Travel 42 and you're really not sure what you want to do, you don't know if you want to create a custom trip plan, you just kind of want to research some information. So you can simply start by typing in a destination or a hotel or a point of interest. Um, whatever you're searching for, go ahead and type it in. That way you can see if we have any information on it. So if you know the specific name of the hotel, type in the specific name of the hotel you're wanting to share. If you so, want to start with the destination, which is what I like to do, I like to start with the destination and then narrow down my search from there. Simply type in the destination you're wanting to search for. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this. We're going to search for Jamaica. Now, there are two ways to pull up information. First, You'll see a drop down populated with some destination guides, some hotels and cruises. These are some things that we think you might be interested in based on what you typed in the search bar. If you see what you're looking for, if you want to find information on Jamaica, go ahead and click on it in the drop down. Same with hotels or cruises or see and do. To see all the results, you're either going to click on this magnifying glass or click the enter button on your keyboard to pull up all search results. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click this magnifying glass. And now I have all my search results. I have some destination guides, some see and do, some hotels, some cruise ships, or excuse me, no cruise ships, but some cruises that pass through Jamaica. Um, so now you can go in and filter. If you're like, hmm, I really, I'm, I need a destination guide to send, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and click destinations. And this all includes Jamaica. So it can be within Jamaica or nearby Jamaica. Um, these are all the search results. So this is where you can narrow it down a little further. Um, if you wanted to, if you weren't sure which hotel you wanted to look at, you would click on the hotel tab. You'll see all your hotels here. If you wanna see only hotels that have a star review, that's where you would click on this, this little checkbox. So if you click the checkbox, this will show you only hotels that have a star review. So if this box is not checked, You'll see hotels that have a star review. You'll see hotels that don't have a star review. If they don't have a star review, they will still have basic information there. So let's go ahead and pull up the first one just to see what a hotel what a hotel looks like within Travel 42. You'll notice some optional items that pop up. Add item. That would mean if you wanted to add this item to a trip plan in its entirety. View details. View details will allow you to pull up this hotel and take a look at what's all included within the hotel. Send or print or compare. Now send or print, if you see these buttons anywhere within Travel 42, what that means is they will send or print whatever that button is over. So right now I am looking at the Caves Hotel. If I clicked send, it is going to send everything that's included within trap within the caves hotel in travel 42 so let's click view details to see what that is so starting off with it automatically pulls up the overview which includes basic information in a photo gallery for this property we also have covid 19 cleanliness properties as well so if you want to see what that hotel is doing during covid to help keep things a little bit cleaner that's where you'll be able to see that information but if you were to click send or print, you're going to be sending or printing all of the basic information, the photo gallery, never the booking info. This is never included in a traveler's report. That is just for your information only. Then you have the star review, which you'll see that's a tab over here to the left. Then you have the property, then you have the map. So if I utilize these buttons, that's everything that's gonna be sent. All of that information is going to be sent to your clients. If you wanted to customize the information, say you really don't want to send this basic information because it's got the reservation email or the general manager's name. You, maybe you don't want your clients to see that information. That's where creating a trip plan comes in. And that is my preferred way of sending or printing information for your clients is by creating a trip plan. It's super simple super easy to do and you only need a trip plan name to do it trip plans are also saved so if you create a trip plan today you can utilize that trip plan in six months unless you delete it okay so this is the the hotel just wanted to show you what it looked like the star review if it has a star review you will see a star review tab if a hotel does not have a star review that tab will be non-existent in that hotel. So if you come across a hotel that does not have a star review tab, that means we have not gone to that property or to review it. You can always let us know, hey, I would love this property to be reviewed, or I would love somebody to stop by and visit this property, and we can definitely get it on the list to be reviewed in the future. So definitely let us know if there's something that maybe you don't see a review for that you would like reviewed. Um, then you have the property information, room amenities, hotel facilities, restaurants on site, recreation, rates and policies and location, and then of course the map which we saw earlier. Now if I was going to click send, this is what would pop up. If I quickly wanted to send all of the, the, the whole, or, um, excuse, excuse me, the whole Caves Hotel information that we have, you click send, and then you simply have to input your recipient by name or email. So if you have a traveler already saved within Travel 42, 
their email address or name will pop up in the drop down when you start typing. If you have not added them, totally fine. You simply have to click create new traveler, put in a first name, last name, and email address, and then save that client. You only have to create a new traveler once. Once you have them saved within Travel 42, you simply just type in their name or email address in this recipient field right here. You can send yourself a copy if you want to receive a copy, if you're not already sending it to yourself. Um, the subject can be edited, enjoy your trip, or here is some information on, oh my goodness, I cannot spell today, you guys, I'm so sorry. Here's some information on the Caves Hotel. If you wanted to put a body, maybe you wanted to put what the cost of the hotel would be. Um, if they have any booking information, maybe you want to put the room number there. Whatever you want to put in the body, but you can also leave it blank. So send email. Oh, I forgot to put the traveler in there after all that. Okay, send email. Once you send, it will say email sent to whoever you're sending it to, and you will know from there that that has been sent. Now, I just sent the Caves Hotel in its entirety. You could do the same thing with print. Um, print will pull up a PDF that you can save to your computer, um, but please remember that these two buttons, if you're creating a trip plan, which I'm gonna go into next, they will not send anything that you have customized. So if I'm creating a trip plan, and I have some items checked over here, these will not take that into account. The send and print buttons will send or print whatever you are within, whatever destination guide or hotel in its entirety. It's just a quick way for you to get something out to your clients if they're needing something really quickly. All right, so let's pull up that PDF for the hotel. So this is something that I could print if I wanted to. I would just click right up here in the upper right corner to print or I could download it to my computer if say I wanted to save this for the future and I wanted to be able to send it at the drop of a hat from my computer. Um, you'll notice also that the PDF opens up in a separate tab so you can quickly and easily get back to Travel 42 by clicking on the previous tab, which was the Travel 42 tab. So I'm gonna exit out of that. Um, now, a couple of things on this page. I am done kind of researching. I want to go back to the dashboard and create a trip plan. A couple ways to do that. You'll see up here, these are called breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs will take you back to where you previously were. So if I wanted to get back to the dashboard, I would simply click the dashboard. That'll take me back to the dashboard. You can also click on this X to get back to the dashboard. Also, you can utilize your browser back button um, to get back to the dashboard. So there's, there's a, numerous ways to go back to a screen that you were previously on, whether that be with breadcrumbs, the X in the right corner, or your browser's back button. I'm gonna go ahead and click the breadcrumbs. It's just the way I like to use them. Um, so now let's create a trip plan. First, something that I forgot to mention earlier, all of the trip plans that say you might have created on the legacy site will transfer over to the new site. So if you've done any work previously in the legacy site, you should see all your trip plans still in the new site. Um, you can delete trip plans by clicking, I like to call this little circle your action items button. So if you see a trip plan and, and you want to you, you do something with it, you just don't know what to do, Simply click on that blue circle with the three little dots inside and your action items will pop up. So you can open the trip plan. Say there's a trip plan you wanna add information to or delete information from. You would open it to open up that trip plan. If you wanted to edit details, view travelers, send, print or download, copy the URL is a newer feature. What this allows you to do, if you click copy URL, it will literally copy the URL for this trip plan. So let's try it real quick just to see what it looks like. I'm gonna click copy URL, trip plan URL copied. What I can do now is let's say I have an email that I wanted to send to um, my clients. I have already written everything out. I have exactly what I want to send them. I just need to paste their trip plan. If you click copy URL, 
You can then paste either by right clicking and paste, or um, I like to use the control V on my keyboard, V as in Victor, that will allow you to paste quickly, but either option is, is a good option, but this will paste that trip plan URL into an email, or if you wanted to send it via Slack or Teams or however you communicate with your clients, that will allow you to put that URL somewhere where you know that you're gonna be sending it to them. But you can also send directly out of Travel 42 as well. Um, then below the trip plans, which as I said, these are always saved unless you delete them, are the travelers. So anytime you're working with somebody and you know you're going to send them information out of Travel 42, click create new traveler. That same modal that we saw earlier will populate you can now put the first name, last name, and email address and save new client. That way, when you go to send something to your client, you simply have to type in their first name, last name, or email address to pull them up. Uh, travelers are always saved. They're never deleted unless you go in and delete them. And travelers also will filter from the legacy site over to the new site. So let's go ahead and create a trip plan. I do recommend utilizing the help tab for this if you get stuck because there are some things um, in here that are optional uh, but that you could put in there if you wanted to make this trip plan just a little bit more informational. So the only thing you need is a trip plan name. That's all you need to create a trip plan. So let's go ahead and try to make this as quick as possible with creating the trip plan because I know you guys are in a hurry when you're creating these trip plans. So if you wanted to go in, let's say, let's do <laughs> Turks and Caicos. Especially, pre especially prepared for, that would be, say you have a group going on a trip and you don't want it to say just for Brittany, you want it to say Brittany and friends or however you want to say it. If you wanted it prepared for a group of people, you could do Whirly family vacation or um, Jessica's bachelorette party. If it's going to be for a group and you want it to show for the group name as opposed to just one person's name, you can go ahead and put that, but that is optional. You don't even have to put a traveler right now. But if you want to differentiate on the dashboard what trip plan is for what person, that might be helpful. So you would simply type in your traveler. I already have them saved, but if it's somebody that you have not worked with before and you need to add a new traveler, simply click the plus sign to the right. That same modal that we've already seen pops up and you simply just have to put first name, last name, and email address. You only have to do it one time. Once you have that traveler saved, you simply just type in their name or email address and click on them in the dropdown. Suggested retail price, there's a couple of different ways you can utilize this. Travel 42's eyes of using this is basically how much your time costs to get this trip plan together. So I think we have it in there as like $29.95 if I'm not mistaken. Some people will put in the actual cost of the trip plan, the retail price of the trip plan that they're selling them. Um, and then they'll tell them what the actual price would be if, since they're going through you, their travel advisor to book it. And you can also leave it blank. You do not have to put that in there. I've actually taken it out of profile for myself. Um, and I'll show you how to do that once we get to the end of the webinar. You can put in departure or return, the, the departure or return dates that they'll be on the trip. You can also put in comments or trip notes. The comments are displayed to clients. The trip notes are not displayed to clients. So please remember that when you're putting in information. Then we'll go to the next step, which is the layout. You can also click layout up here in the upper right corner, but we'll click on the button down at the bottom. Now this, I like to kind of leave as it is while I'm creating the trip plan. And then you can always edit details when you're done, um, just based on how you're going to use this trip plan. So if you know already that this is going to be a PDF that you're going to want to print for your travelers, I would suggest, unless you're using a beautiful color printer that's going to print the images very, very beautifully, 
I would say remove images from the PDF. So you can simply uncheck that box and no images will be shown in the PDF. That way you can print um, and it not, it, it won't show up all those images, especially if you have a printer like mine and it's just a black and white printer, it's not gonna do those images justice. So I always like to send the images in the online view because they'll obviously see them online. They'll see the images and how beautiful that they are. Now the cover page, show trip summary and business card. The business card can be um, updated by you just by updating your profile up here in the upper right corner. The trip summary, think of that as like your table of contents. When your clients open up the trip plan, they'll see the table of contents. Like this is what's on page one, page two, page three. The cover page has your business card and the cover page also has a cover image, which if you want to add your own cover image, you can upload an image from your computer or you can link an image. You have two options to do that. If you don't want to upload an image, which I rarely do because Travel 42 has a lot of images to utilize, don't do it. Just let Travel 42 pick an image based on the information that you show. Now, if you get to the end and you don't like the image that was picked, we can go back to edit details and then you can add your own photo from there. Um, but once you're done with all of that, once you have your trip details and the layout information, you would just click create new trip. But I do want to mention one thing that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but I went through all of the details as to what all these mean. The only thing you need to create a trip plan is the name. You don't need any of that other information. We could have simply just gone to the next step layout and click create new trip and been done with it. Um, okay, so now we're loading the workspace. Think of it as I have just now created my folder. Now I need to add information into that folder that I'm going to share with my clients. I have the same little search bar that I saw on the dashboard. So now I can go ahead and search for things to start adding. So let's go ahead and type Turks and see if anything pops up. Perfect. Turks and Caicos is the first one there. I'm going to click on it from here instead of clicking the magnifying glass this time, just so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm going to click the destination guide, Turks and Caicos. Perfect. Now this is a destination guide. You'll notice it looks similar to the travel, or excuse me, similar to the hotel that we saw, meaning you still have your little tabs over here to the left, and then you have your little check boxes over here to the right. So the way to add information to a trip plan is by checking the check boxes. So now I can leave things out that I don't want. If I don't want the history, I don't have to check it. Anytime you put a check beside a checkbox, it is automatically saved into your trip plan. So history I haven't added. I'm not going to add port information, potpourri, and hotel overview. So you'll notice I checked the boxes over here to the left, but look at that. The check boxes are also over to the right. So both of these are the same. It's just two different ways of checking a box. So if you check the box over here to the left, wonderful. If you check the box over here to the right, wonderful. It adds the same thing. Um, you also have templates. Now, if you already know pretty much what information you're wanting to add to a trip plan, you can apply a template. So if you click on that, you'll notice another modal pops up. Step one, select a template. So we have full, which is the whole destination guide, business for a business traveler, a cruise traveler, or a leisure traveler. Each one of them has different things checked. So if say you've clicked a template leisure, great, look at all those items that's already checked that I could just go ahead and save. I don't have to go through the whole destination guide. It just automatically did it for me. If you say, hmm, I really like this, but I would really like the photo gallery, Go ahead and check the photo gallery. The template is now changed, but that's fine. It's This is your trip plan. You add what you want. You delete what you want. This is customized based on what your traveler needs. Once you've gotten what you need with the template, then you would go in and click save and all of that information would be saved. Perfect. So now we've got 
all of our information checked that we needed based on that template that we just added. You can also go through and remove items as needed. So say you get to an item and you selected it in the template, but now you decide you don't want it anymore, then you can simply just uncheck it and remove it completely. You can also go through the whole destination guide and read the information that you're adding, because please remember, there is a lot of information within Travel 42. If you're gonna be printing the trip plan, you don't want to print 200 pages of just a whole bunch of stuff. You want to make sure that if you're printing, that it's going to be what you want and only that. So it's not as much pages printed. Um, so if you go through, you can definitely pick and choose the items you want, remove things as needed, add things as needed just by checking it with the checkbox. Um, let's see, sightseeing. Oh, and you'll also notice these little gold ticket items. These are items that our editorial team and our reviewers highly recommend. So you'll see those listed within the see and do tab and within the dining tab. Dining looks similar to the see and do. We do have different cuisines. Local and regional is something that I always like to add in there. Um, the safety tab is very important, especially if it's somewhere that your clients have never been or you've never sent any travelers to. Tips is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite tab, especially the do's and don'ts. Um, if you're traveling somewhere that you have never been before and maybe it's not in the country that your traveler is, is living in, definitely add the do's and don'ts because this will show your clients um, what to wear or what to do or how to speak or just kind of gives them a little uh, knowledge of that destination so they know what to expect. The geostats that has more passport, population, language, time zone, telephone codes, money, currency exchange, weather and what to wear, communication, internet access, transportation, air, and then more information and additional resources. You'll notice when you get down to the bottom, like I really don't want to have to scroll all the way back to the top to get back. So you'll see at the bottom, you can go to the previous tab or you can go to the next tab, which is events. So utilize that as well. This one, it doesn't really matter that much. It's a short tab. So I could simply just click on what I need to here as opposed to using these, but those are there. Um, then we go to the hotels tab, which there is a hotels tab pretty much in every destination, if I'm not mistaken. So you'll be able to see hotels that are within that destination or nearby that destination. You can also filter hotels. So if you want to filter based on the star rating, you want to see the hotels that only have a star review, the hotel name, the chain or hotel rep, the hotel size, and then we have some preferences, locations, and types as well. So you can filter down those hotels. But first, we're just going to go and look at this one. So your options now, you have add item, view details, send, or print. Please remember the send and print buttons are a quick way for you to send or print that hotel or destination it's in, in its entirety. Right now, we are working on a custom trip plan. So I want to go in and either add this item to my trip plan in its entirety or view details. So let's go ahead and click view details. You'll see it looks pretty much identical to what we saw earlier. We have the overview. This one does have a star review. There's property information and a map. If I decided I don't want to add this basic information, don't. I'm just going to go and click all photos. I have no option to do booking info. That's never included. Then you can go to the star review, add the star review, add the property and add the map. So I'm pretty much done with this trip plan. Let's go ahead and click the X to get back to the dashboard. There's my trip plan right there. If I'm good with it, I wanna send it as is. Go ahead and click on that action items bubble and click send. The modal we saw earlier pops up. You type in your traveler's name or create a new traveler and send the email. If you wanted to print, same thing. Click on that action items bubble, print download, 
or copy URL. Duplicate simply means that it's going to take this exact trip plan and duplicate it. So what I recommend for that is say you worked with a client like two years ago and you're wanting to reuse the same trip, but for new travelers, just click the duplicate button. It'll create another trip plan that you will edit and make for the newer clients that you're working on. And then obviously delete means to delete. So that is how you send or print a trip plan. Now you can get a little bit more in depth and I'm not gonna take too much time on this, but I'm just gonna show you the option that you have. So I opened the trip plan. I am now in the Turks and Caicos trip plan, AKA that folder I created. And now I have information added. I have added one destination guide, which includes 19 see and do one hotel. Perfect, that is exactly what I added. Now, custom places. If you wanted to add something that's not within Travel 42, whatever it may be, you can do that by adding a custom place. So if you click the plus sign, you can put in the website for whatever you're adding, the name of whatever you're adding, the place type, whether it be the airport, city, cruise ship, um, Airbnb, grandma's house, whatever you're adding that's not in Travel 42, pick that place type the address, the phone number, and then any information you want to add. And this can be formatted as well. So you can bold it, italicize, underline, turn it into paragraphs. You can add a link. Um, you can add anything within this custom place. There's lots of options. Now, organize. Organize tab is if you wanted to put this information either in a different order or on a calendar, kind of like an itinerary. So basically what you would do is if I wanted this to be in a different order, I wanted the hotel to show up before the destination guide, I click, drag and drop. Perfect, that one's super easy. Um, and you can send it just like that, or you could switch it. Um, if you have a long list, you can list it by your favorite hotel. So say you put the destination guide and your clients are wanting to book a hotel as well and you have to give them recommendations. I would put the hotel that you recommend first because they're probably going to love that one. Be like, oh yes, that one for sure. Um, and then you can come back in and remove any of the other hotels that they didn't want. So that's change order. Schedule is if you were to put it on a calendar. So let's say they're traveling in July of this year. I'm going to scroll over to July of 2023. You would simply drag and drop it to the date that they're going to be at that hotel, within that destination, whatever it may be. You drag and drop it onto the calendar. If you decide you don't want to do the itinerary any longer, you would simply click on the trash can and it takes it off of the calendar. You can only do one of these options. So you can either change the order or schedule or neither if you don't want to do either one of those options. Preview. This is just a preview of the trip plan that you are about to send via email. So this shows the cover photo, your logo, whatever that might be, will go here. Uh, your headshot. We'll go here once you upload it to profile, of course, your name, your information, your contact information, whatever information you put on your profile is what's going to show up on the cover page. You'll see that over here to the left. Just like in the destination guides and hotels, there's different ways of clicking on things or getting to the next page. So I could click next or I could click trip summary over here. I could click next or I could click Turks and Caicos here, or the hotel here. So you can go through it like a, a complete document, or you can just click on the items that you're wanting to read. But this is just a preview. I haven't sent this trip plan yet. I'm just previewing what I have put together. So here's the destination guide that I added with the see and do information and the dining information. And then, Click next, and here is the hotel that I've added. Um, and I did not put in that basic info, so that's why you're only seeing the photo gallery and the star review. Um, if you need to edit anything, say you forgot to add a hotel or you forgot to click on something in the destination guide, 
simply go to the collect tab and this is where everything can be edited. So if, if I decide, uh, I want to take something away in that Turks and Caicos guide, or I want to add in a hotel, you would simply search for the new hotel you want to add or click on the destination guide and then start unchecking items that you don't want any longer. Anytime you uncheck, it's automatically saved. So let's go back to our Turks and Caicos trip. Um, I got one question that I'm gonna answer now and I did get two more, I haven't forgotten about you guys, um, but organize, organize encompasses change order and schedule. So change order is one way to organize, schedule is another way to organize. So you can do either change order or schedule, but both of those are considered organizing your trip plan. I hope that answers that question. Um, up here, you'll also see um, that little action items bubble. So if I'm in the trip plan, not on the dashboard, I can send or print the trip plan as well. Just click on that little bubble and I have the same um, action items that I had on the dashboard. So I can send, I can print, I can copy URL, or if I'm completely done with this trip plan, I can save and close. Always save and close if you're done working on a trip plan, because say I just got out of it and went back to the dashboard. Yes, my selections are automatically saved, but say I start searching for Jamaica and then start adding, it'll add to this trip plan unless you click save and close. Like you have to tell Travel42, I'm done with this trip plan. I don't want to work on it anymore. Um, but let's go ahead and click send. Let's type in my name because that's who I'm sending it to. Here is some destination and hotel information on Turks and Caicos. Whatever you want that subject to say, um, you just, you have to have a subject, especially nowadays with the way uh, security is on email. If you leave that blank, half the time it's not going to even go into your client's inbox because it's thinking that it's a spam email from somebody. So be sure to put the subject. Um, you don't have to put the body. If you want to put a body of an email, great, but you don't have to do that. So let's go ahead and click send email. And we'll give that a minute to come through. I'm going to go ahead and click save and close here. So now we have our trip plan that I just sent. I last modified it today. I last delivered it today. I sent it to myself, but I did deliver it. So what I can do now, give me a second. Sorry, I have two screens on. That's why you're not seeing me working, but I am. So we have our Turks and Caicos trip plan that I can now click view online. This is pretend I'm the traveler now. I've now I've gotten my email from my trip for my travel advisor and I'm going to view this trip plan that they created for me. So let's view online. And look, it looks exactly like that preview tab. So you saw exactly what your clients are going to see before you sent it to them. So now I can go next. Oh, wow. This is what they've added into my trip plan. There's my destination guide. Here's my hotel. If I'm, I'm, I'm the traveler right now, please don't forget. So I have an action items button too. If I wanted to print or download this trip plan or copy the URL, I have that option as well. So if me as the traveler wanted to download this trip plan to my computer, I can. That way I could print it for myself if I wanted to. Now, as a travel agent working in Travel 42, I definitely recommend using a desk, desktop or laptop to create this trip plan for your clients. As a traveler receiving the emailed trip plan, I can pull it up on my cell phone and go through the information that was sent via email. So your clients will be, there's, there's not an app or anything, but they will be able to pull this email up on their phone if they wanted to. And then they could um, uh, see everything on their phone as they're traveling. So that's just one thing to make note of. So that is... Um, the information that I want to go through. Now, there were two other questions. 
Um, hotels, we do try to get those updated every couple of years. We do do that based on agent feedback. So that could mean clicks within the site. Um, that could be agent feedback literally reached out via phone or email. A hotel review could be about to fall off. Our editorial team schedules all these hotels to be reviewed. I believe we have over 10,000 hotel reviews within Travel 42. So each year, they know the destinations that they're going to visit and what hotels they're going to review. Destination guides are a little bit different. Those are able to be updated daily, especially with the see and do and dining, as we are able to find out what restaurants or see and do pieces are closed or what is open. So that, that, that is able to be updated daily. Um, and in regards to when you're searching for a hotel, let's say I was searching in Jamaica. Let me view the destination guide. I'm on my hotels tab. If you don't want to go through and scroll, you don't have to. If you click filter hotels and type in the hotel name here or the first letter of the hotel, say you can't remember the name, but you know it starts with a J, then you would simply search for J and then click apply filters. You can also, let's start back in the dashboard. If you know the exact name of the hotel, you can pull it up here too. Perfect, and there's the hotel I was looking for. So that'll pull right up that hotel I was looking for if I wanted to send or print. Um, and you'll notice here, there is a little tool tip. So if you forget what these two buttons are for, remember these two send and print buttons are used to send or print every, not nearby hotels, excuse me, I didn't mean to scroll over that one but it will send the basic info, the photo gallery, the star review, the property, and the map. If you want something customized, that's what you need to do the trip plan for. And it's not hard to do a trip plan. It's super, super easy to do a trip plan and pick and choose the items you want. A trip plan, I we call it a trip plan, but really just think of it like a folder. You could have one hotel in that trip plan. You don't have to have a destination guide or four destination guides. You could have one hotel and just send them the custom hotel information that you picked. Um, let's go back to the dashboard again. The news and alerts tab, I went over these briefly earlier. So news and alerts, it has recently updated destinations, recently updated hotels, travel alerts powered by IntelliGuide, Travel Age West, Travel Weekly and Travel Pulse the restrictions and e-visa information. Um, this will allow you to go and see restrictions. Um, Sheila, I'm gonna send, or I'm gonna show my email here in just a moment. I wanna understand your question just a little bit better. Um, so I would like to take this offline if you don't mind, um, but I do want to get your question answered and here in just a moment, once I get over to profile, you guys will be able to see my phone number, my email address and can contact me should you have any questions. Um, the restrictions, as I said, you can search from your destination to the destination and see what all is needed for travel. Um, E-Visa information, it opens up a separate tab and it allows you to purchase an e-visa for anywhere that you might be traveling. Help tab, very, 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 very important and has a lot of very important information. So if you get to the help tab and you just don't know what to do, start here, getting started, quick send or print a destination or hotel, create a customized trip plan and the basics of the new Travel 42. Um, this whole thing is considered getting started though, but this is where I would start. We do have our live webinars and on-demand training. Upcoming webinars will always change, since especially we're in this one right now. Um, and then our on-demand webinars. So those are ones that were previously live that are now um, uh, that are now recorded, so you can view them at any time. Frequently asked questions and tips and tricks goes based on research, manage account dashboard, creating trip plans, cruise, organize preview. Um, so any questions you might have there, support and troubleshooting. Um, a lot of times things with websites, 
can get backed up based on cash and cookies. So if you notice something is starting to act a little weird or it's running a lot slower um, than you think it should, it might be as simple as clearing out the cash and cookies in the browser. Um, so that's something as well. Um, but you can also search if there's you have a specific question, you can put it in here and it'll populate something that will help you. You can also submit a request if you still have a question. Um, so now we're back at the Travel42 website since that opened up a separate tab. Um, we were just in the help. So let's go to profile now. So you have your business card and preferences. Business card, like I said earlier, is all your information. This is what's going to show up on your client's trip plan so that they can get back in contact with you. Preferences is just that. Preferences that you feel help you work in Travel 42 better. You client view, report items, email, and search. So I'm going to go back to profile. Um, my email address, lworley at ntmllc.com. That is the best way to get a hold of me. Even if it's as simple as, hey, Larissa, please call me at such and such, such and such. If you call, totally fine. If you leave a voicemail, I'm going to return that voicemail. But a lot of times, if I'm, say, on a call or on something, I will see that email come through first and be able to call you back as soon as I'm done with what I'm doing. Um, yes, you can schedule see and do items within the calendar, same way we did with the destination guide, just drag and drop them over to the appropriate date or time. Um, I did get another question that said my trip plan name did not appear at the top of the page. I would like to take this offline if you don't mind, just so I can see exactly what you're looking at. So if you wouldn't mind, just shoot me over a quick email, maybe with a screenshot showing the issue that you're seeing, and then I can help you further from there. Um, other than that, this webinar is pretty much done. I am going to be able to put it on the help tab. Let me go ahead and stop the recording. <laughs>